Um, so this is my cellar, and here's my biomass boiler. You can't really see it behind all this junk. Um, but the benefit of burning wood is that you're not creating any extra carbon. You're merely burning what the plant produced. So it's, it's essentially neutral or negligible. Um, that's the benefit. The benefit for our house... Oh, text message. Um, the benefit for us is uh, the fuel's relatively cheap. Um, we got a government grant, so it covered the majority of this. Although we, the people we bought it from, Eco Homes Services in Bournemouth, are pretty shady, so avoid them. Um, but the unit itself is fantastic. It's an ETA made in Austria. This thing's built like a tank. It's almost caught, like commercial grade, uh, weighs a ton. Took quite a lot of effort to get down here. Um, sadly, the guys that did the measurements didn't quite get it right. I had to tear up some of my steps and, and the things have got scuffs on. So this is the stuff that the boiler burns. It's um, kind of like cat litter if you've got a cat or horse bedding if you've got a bigger pet. Um, and uh, it goes into this hopper. How do I do all this? Right, so there you go, like handmade prop. And yeah, so uh, it looks like this stuff. Hold on, turn that up. Yeah, can you, I suppose you can see there. Can't minimum my focus on this is terrible. And yeah, it goes into here, which carries about half a ton or something insane. Goes all the way across our messy cellar into the boiler here. Behind this paint thing. I'll put that somewhere else. Where should I put it? And there's the readout. So I'll just demonstrate how it works. It's pretty neat. Cost a fortune, the government paid for a lot of it. Um, but yeah, here you go. So if I press, where is it? Fill time, I think? Stop filling. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get a shot of that. Anyway, I'll press the CFU there, I think. Yeah, there you go. It's had um, 15 kilos in, and then it's going to add another 15 kilos into the boiler. Because every day, each of these bags cost roughly three quid, I think, or four quid. Um, and in the winter, like it is now, it does get through quite a lot of them. You can see it sucking out through here, I think. Yeah. That's it, 15 kilos. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how to empty the ash, because obviously this thing burns a lot of wood. Um, ironically, well not ironically, surprisingly, um, it really is efficient. So I'll show you the colour of it all. Anyway, lift up this, so here's the thing. You lift up the uh, the front, and uh, yeah, that reveals. Um, see the box there? It's got these little catches here. You just free it away from the main body. Do it on the other side as well, and then you're left with this box. And um, I'll show you what it looks like when you empty it. That's the box. Um, if I take the lid off, our water uh, we've got quite an efficient um, water tank a hot water tank and it also does all of our central heating as well so it's, it's great I also use a, a stove a lot of the time for the room that I'm gonna be in but it's it really for me it's just about being thoughtful I didn't want to burn oil I didn't want to we don't even have gas here we're sort of vaguely in the countryside um, I wanted to do something slightly different and think about the way that I burn stuff we have to get it serviced Annually, it's £350, which, which is a lot more than your kind of standard gas boiler, but again, we don't have that option. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. This thing's a beast. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Put it in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know if you've got boiler, if you've got a biomass boiler, if you're thinking about getting one. I'm not an expert, but I've got one. Um, so I can answer a few questions. I can certainly tell you who not to buy it from. Um, but yeah, uh, my wife and I are pretty pleased.
please take a look at my other videos. Hopefully it'll inspire you to make little changes in your life too.